<sighs> Alrighty, another morning in the Slaverian Trucker. Welcome, welcome. Last episode, we finally made it up to Komsodrinsk, and we've spotted the truck here. Now, the frame itself is only 120,000, so it's pretty cheap. So we are just going to purchase that up now. Got ourselves a new body. I'm glad they give you a full tank of fuel. That's pretty sweet. Let's put on some of our wheels here. Now the only thing I don't have is all of these suspensions, so it is going to be very stiff and not move around very well until we do that. I'm going to throw that on the ground because I do think we have the rear suspension. So this is front and left. Get this wrench to pop up and there we go. We got some suspension up front. Grab the other one here. Now I don't quite remember where we got Just gonna pop that off for a second. Pop it back on. So is this? Hmm. Suspension's pretty good. I don't know why it's acting like that. Okay, and then we're gonna take our rear tires. We're gonna slap them on. There we go. Uh, yeah, we don't need this anymore. Okay, now we've got a truck on wheels, which is pretty good. And then our last door. So all these parts I have not bought. I found them all in the world. So if you haven't seen them, uh, or just don't purchase anything till you find them, or else they're quite a bit of money. All right, so we are good now. We do not have a motor for it yet. Um, I could throw the motor in this truck in there, which is a possibility. There's a little lever here if you guys didn't know, but you can tilt the cabin. Just keep clicking it, and it'll raise. And you can like squeeze yourself in here and check your radiator and stuff. It's pretty cool. And grab our toolbox again. So we'll unhook that. Throw that puppy in there. Oh, that's a Zua. Okay. I didn't know they had a triple seat in the Zua. Um, so yeah, not having rear suspension, don't remember if that's going to cause issues. Let's just hop in this truck, see if we can fire it up. Pull up right, perfect. And then we go up to this thing. Or we have to buy it first. And then attach. And there we go. Got ourselves a Zach Met running and working. Now, like I said, probably don't want to go too far. You effing retard. Because without suspension, it's a little bit of a rough ride. And I think the only suspension is... I think in Belarsk, to be honest. I think that's where it is, anyway. So I am going to grab my toolbox. Grab my motor. We're going to slot that back in our truck there and do a little bit of exploring, I think. See if we can find ourselves 
some goodies. Come on, open up. There we go. Let's just check our oil. 5.8, 10 liter. We are good to go. About the government building. Give you guys an idea of how much buying a gun license and hunting license is, because it's really friggin expensive. But you do need it if you want to not get in trouble by the cops by accidentally driving by them with your rifle and stuff on you or in the truck. So here's the government office. You walk in here. These guys are complete ripoffs, but you come up here, buy firearms license. I don't know why this, there it is, 1.5 mil. I could barely afford that right now. Hunting license, eh, not a big deal, but I think we'll have to do a couple of trips with the illegals once in a blue moon here, just to afford that stuff. And then we can go ham on murdering those blasted friggin' animals. But for now, let's just, I guess, head over to the east coast, or no, west coast, that direction, and see if we can find any goodies. So yeah, we've got a bit of a shack or something down there, and we've got this uh, house or shed or something just over there so yeah let's go check out that little building I don't remember what's in these buildings so I'll be as kind of surprised as you if it's something good sounds like there might be dogs here see if we can have a listen There they go. Holy crap, there's a few of them in there. They're all in the windows. The hell away from me. This might be a little tricky to get rid of them. What the hell? Oh, I never realized that, that they come after the camera. Huh, that's interesting. See if I can get the dog to move the truck around? <laughs> Come on, baby. Yeah, we got him. There we go. Jeez, there's a whole bunch of them in this building. There's bears and all sorts of friggin' creatures. Oh my god, there's an alligator? What the hell? Wow, <laughs> this place is nuts. a good shot. Jeez, they just go right under the friggin truck.
All right, let's see if we can get them over here. Still one more in there. Sounds like there's two more, actually. See if we can get them out the front door here. There's a rat in there. See an oil drum of some sort. We might actually need the gun to come here. Hmm. All right, well, I think that'll be our, our gun mission to come here and absolutely destroy all these animals. All right, we out. I guess we ain't getting nothing there yet. All right, let's scope for animals. Oh, there's a big bear there. Yeah, that's all I see. Let's go drag him out of there. See how far away he spots me. There he goes. Oh, something else dropped the door there. God, there's another friggin' bear. Let's have a quick scope of what we got here. There's something in the corner there, I'm not sure. Alright, I don't see any. Come here, mice. Alright, well, we got a Russ hood. Not that we need it. What do we got in here? We got some helmets. Got, uh, I think, what is that? Industrial goods, maybe? Got a door here. Okay, oh, what do we got? We got a radiator. Pretty good shape. It's not rusty or nothing. Okay. Oh, shit. That's the big monster motor. And it's brand new. It doesn't even say it's a... Uh, uh, what do you call it? A rusty... What? I had no idea that was here. I don't even know if I could fix it and put it in this truck. Well, that saves me $800,000. Because I bought mine in my original playthrough. Wow, I did not know that you could get it out here. Well, that's pretty cool. So if you're really wanting to get the motor right off the hop, to head over to... on the left side mid, the Dog Latov Salt Flat. And then just kind of go south west, I guess. Kind of where that swirl is on the map. Somewhere in there and you'll have the best motor for the trucks. And it's pretty sweet because it gives us uh, the Zack Mat to be able to drive. So that's pretty, pretty dang awesome. Let's see here if I got a... I only have toolboxes. I don't have a repair. So I will not be able to throw it in quite yet. That's friggin' awesome, though. Friggin' awesome. Alright, let's throw all these relics in here, I guess. Alright, let's do a once-over, I guess. Make sure we got everything. Yeah, everything looks like it's been accounted for. Mostly check under these because sometimes they have uh, the goodies there. Wow, I guess uh, we lucked out there. Got the best motor for next to nothing. It'll probably cost a few dollars or SD to uh, repair it because you only get five per repair, and I think they do about 25% each time. I should be good for another little bit here.
I'm not 100% sure if there's anything else right on this coast. But we might as well make a little trek up top here. All right, we back. See if this guy, yes, he does. He's got the repair bay here. Um, what do you call it? The repair, repair toolboxes. These things here, medium. Ooh, these are the rust suspension. The big V8. Tow bar is 39, so there's a vehicle part adjuster. Motor oil, kind of the normal things, but yeah, I'm pretty sure the Zach Matt uh, suspension is in Belarsk or like Lupova or something. I think it's Lupova down at the bottom right. I think that's where you can get them at. Because I don't think there's a, a vehicle dealer or whatever in Belarsk. Vehicle service. Alright, um, let's buy the motor. Or not the motor, but uh, the repair kit. So we'll need... What are we going to need? We're going to need at least five. So that's five. And then we have the radiator. Oh god. You frickin' bastard. Sir, do you know who I am? Sir? I'm the strongest man in the world. You think you're going somewhere? Not today. Not today, my friend. If I could only just stand up. No. There we go. No. Sir. Sir. Stop it. Sir. Stop resisting. Yeah. That is... That's right. That's right. That's what you get. You friggin' idiot. Sir, do you, you want some of this too? Oh, are you kidding me? That is a huge bummer. I had no idea that you could die from getting hit. Okay, well, that is more progress lost that I have to make up for. Bummer. Well, I guess uh, I'm just going to cut to that then. <laughs> Unfortunately. Wow. Alright, well, we're back with uh, all this trash in our truck. I'm glad I pulled over here and saved it. Because that would have been a big bummer. Um, hmm, okay. Alright, let's, uh, I guess, deliver this stuff and... I mean, I... I could just go over, yeah, let's just go over and get that motor. Nah, well, break. Let's go deliver this stuff. Yep, and again. It's going to be real nice when we have the Zach mat, because the bed... The bed has proper uh, side rails and a canopy and stuff just doesn't quite fall out, which is really nice and worth the crazy investment to uh, fix it up. Alrighty, we are back at the scene of death. That was quite the mess around. So now that we're back here at the store, we're going to buy another two of these again. 60-some thou. 
I think they were 31 each, so 62. Throw those in the box here. Perfect. So that should be enough to fix most of the stuff on the truck. Oh god. Oh shite. Jeez, man. <laughs> Entirely my fault, but god dang, son. Alright, we back. Now I think, uh, unfortunately I'm going to end the episode here. That was a long one to have to go back and forth, but uh, do, in, or do come back and visit us again. I thought there was an interior light. There it is. Oh, it's not very good though. Yeah, we will then put together my beautiful new truck here. Get out of the frickin' and uh, we will get that situated. So, see you guys next one. Until then, take it easy. Bye for now.